Hi, welcome to Odyssey Academy. I'm Stacy Delzite, Manager of Transportation Technical Solutions here at Enersys. Before we get started, I just want to give a little background on why we are showing Odyssey and North Star branded batteries in the presentation today. Back in 2019, Enersys, who has been producing Odyssey branded batteries for nearly 25 years, purchased North Star. The two batteries are very similar, both using a technology called thin plate pure lead. If you aren't familiar with thin plate pure lead technology, our Odyssey Academy trainings will help explain some of the unique features of this product. Our training topic today is battery storage. So let's go ahead and get started. After the training, we hope that you'll be able to understand the ideal storage conditions for batteries and recognize how temperature impacts battery storage. You'll learn that high temperatures increase the rate of self-discharge and that low temperatures decrease self-discharge but could result in a frozen battery. Finally, you'll have a chance to get any questions answered that you might have. To get started, we'll look at the best storage conditions for batteries. Cool, dry locations are the best. Kind of like people, batteries really don't like to be too hot or too cold. Batteries should be fully charged before they are stored. So if you have a seasonal application like a boat that is only used for a portion of the year, you want to fully charge the battery before the boat is put away for the season. The voltage for fully charged batteries varies by battery type, but for thin plate pure lead batteries, 12.9 volts is considered fully charged. Storing a battery in a discharged condition is one of the most damaging things you can do to a battery. It allows sulfate from the sulfuric acid to become very stubborn and can get to the point where the damage is irreversible. When it's time to get the boat out next season, the battery should be recharged before it's used. We've been talking about storage in terms of seasonal applications, but it might be that you have batteries in a warehouse that are waiting to be installed. If that's the case, it's important to remember first in, first out inventory management techniques. Batteries have a shelf life and need to stay above a 50% state of charge to stay healthy. For thin plate pure lead batteries, that means staying above 12.2 volts. We're going to talk about self-discharge in a few minutes, but all batteries lose voltage over time. Rotating your stock will make sure you don't end up with old discharge batteries on the shelf when there are newer ones there as well. Finally, we want to avoid any chance of short circuiting. Some batteries come with terminal covers that prevent short circuiting, but others don't. Pallets of batteries are generally covered with a long piece of cardboard that not only helps keep the batteries clean, but it also helps prevent short circuiting when moving batteries around with a forklift. Moving on to discuss self-discharge. Like I mentioned before, all batteries self-discharge over time, even if they're just sitting on the shelf not being used. This means that their voltage slowly decreases. Higher temperatures increase the rate of self-discharge. You can see on this chart that at 77 degrees Fahrenheit, our thin plate pure lead batteries can be stored for 24 months. This means the voltage will stay above 50% state of charge, or 12.2 volts, for 24 months without requiring recharge. We like the batteries to stay above 50% state of charge so that sulfate doesn't damage the battery and it will perform as expected. When the temperature increases to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, the storage time is cut in half to 12 months. The flip side is that decreasing the temperature, temperature to 41 degrees Fahrenheit increases the, the storage time to 48 months. So if you have to store batteries for any reason, it is an advantage for the temperature to be cool. 
Speaking of cooler temperatures, we want to point out that although lower temperatures decrease the rate of self-discharge, it is possible for batteries to freeze at very low temperatures. A lot of people think that only flooded batteries can freeze, but that's really not true. Any battery can freeze if it gets cold enough. With flooded batteries, quite often when they freeze, they crack along the corners, and then when the battery thaws, liquid leaks out all over the floor. With valve regulated batteries, like our thin plate pure lead batteries, there is not an excess of electrolyte in them. The design is considered acid starved. So while a valve regulated battery may freeze, usually the battery won't crack. Looking at the chemical equation for the reaction of a lead acid battery, we can see why they can freeze at low temperatures. On the left side here, we are showing a charged battery. We have lead dioxide from the positive plate, lead from the negative plate, and sulfuric acid for the electrolyte. The sulfuric acid in a charged battery has a specific gravity around 1.300. Sulfuric acid with that specific gravity freezes at negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. On the right side of the equation, we show a discharged battery. The sulfate from the sulfuric acid is attached to the positive and negative plates, which means that the liquid in the battery is water. Of course, water will freeze at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So in most environments, the only time we need to be concerned about a battery freezing is when it's discharged. As we reach the end of our training today, I just want to emphasize a few points we've made regarding battery storage. It's best to store batteries in a cool, dry location. Temperature has a big impact on batteries when they are stored. First of all, temperatures above 77 degrees Fahrenheit increase the rate of self-discharge, and it is possible for batteries to freeze at low temperatures if the battery is discharged. Thin plate pure lead batteries have the lowest rate of self-discharge of all the lead acid battery types. This means at room temperature, thin plate pure lead batteries should not have to be charged for about two years. We want to thank you for attending our training on battery storage today. We plan to have more of these training sessions in the future, so stay tuned for additional topics that we're going to cover. If you have questions that weren't answered today, feel free to email me at stacy.delzite at intersys.com or you can call our technical support group at 1-800-964-2837. Thanks.